Hello everybody, my name is Ayan Smith. I'm a graphic design major here at Old Dominion University. For this presentation, I will talk about the difference between high school and college. Since I'm going to my sophomore year of college and I had experience my first year of college, obviously getting a taste from college. My experiences has changed a bit, so yeah, there are some differences between high school and college, and I like to talk about that. But before I get into that, I would like to present to you my table of contents. Uh, first, I will talk about classes. Basically, I will talk about uh, the difference of the classes in high school and college. Then, I'll talk about the difference in food, dorms, assignments, uh, the types of responsibility and accountability that you have to apply to yourself when you're in high school and college. Uh, I will talk about how sports are different from high school and college. And finally, I'll talk about the money aspect of <clears throat> high school and college. All right, so classes. Uh, in high school, you don't have the option to pick your classes. What I mean by that is when, when you're in high school, your classes are chosen for you versus when you're in college, you get to pick your own classes, you get to pick the times and days to have those classes take place and scheduling my classes has really helped me out with time management and also just staying on schedule and also uh, the classes in college is it's many more students because of the natural halls versus in high school, it's pretty common. You, you will have about like, I say like eight to at least 22 students in each class room. Versus in college, you have like 15 to 35 students, possibly even more than that. All right, so food. Uh, I know when I was in high school, the, the food was offered to us and we just ate what we were served versus now be, being a cottage, you have a variety of different food options to choose from. And it's, it's really beneficial. Like I, I know I go to Old Dominion University. Uh, we have a cafeteria. We also have a food court of different restaurants like Chick-fil-A, Pan Express, Pizza Hunt, Survey, Starbucks, you, you name it, we, we have it all. And we also have our own cafeteria. We have a, a vegan session. We have a taco session. So there is a variety of different food options to choose from when you're in college versus when, when you're in high school, you don't have that many options.
All right, next, I would like to talk about the dorms. Uh, obviously, everybody knows that once you enter college, uh, you do have the option to live on campus. And when you live on campus, you live in, inside these dorms right here <clears throat> in college. Uh, no living options are offered. Uh, most likely high school students are living in their parents' house. All right, so next, I'd like to talk about the assignments. Uh, I feel like in college, more and more assignments are being offered because obviously college is more advanced than high school. Uh, in, in high school, the assignments is pretty much self-explanatory. versus like when, when you're in college it may take a little while for you to understand a certain assignment because <laughs> it's college and it's more advanced and more scale All right, so responsibility. Uh, in high school, when I, I know when I was in high school, obviously my, my, my responsibility was to make sure that I kept my grades up, make sure that I had the proper GPA to get into the college that I wanted to go to and to, to maintain at least a 2.0 GPA to play sports. Uh, yeah, those was pretty much the responsibilities that I had in high school. Versus in, in college, you have many more responsibilities. You're on your own now. Nobody's not watching you. And you have to be able to make your own decisions. That's how you're gonna grow into a young, mature adult. So, yeah, yeah, in, in, in college, obviously you have to make sure that you're being safe because you don't have your parents around you. Uh, taking care of your assignments, that's, mandatory mandatory because college is money <laughs> and like, like i said when, when you're in college you, you make your own decisions like choosing your own major uh yeah yeah cho choosing the friends that you want to have around you it, it's it's many responsibilities in college than high school All right, <clears throat> accountability. Uh, when I was in high school, I had t-shirts and coaches that held me accountable for the things that I was responsible for or the things that I shouldn't be doing. Now in, in college, you don't have that much accountability. The person who will hold you accountable in college is yourself because you, you no longer have your parents around you. So they're not gonna be there to make sure that you wake up in the morning and to make sure that you're going to your classes. You have to do it on your own. You, you gotta set your alarm on your phone. You, you have to stay disciplined at all times because college is no joke. College is money and you just gotta be on your shit.
So that's where uh, the accountability comes in for Kaddish. That's just my opinion. All right, so sports. Uh, most common sports in, in high school are probably football and basketball, most likely. But I played soccer in high school. I plan on playing soccer in college as well. Uh, I feel like in college, there's many more sports, like rolling, lacrosse, hockey, uh, ice skating, track and field. You know, tra track and field was often and to was offered in the high school that I went to, but it, it wasn't as popular now in, in college. You know, sport, sports like lacrosse or even golf are popular and not to be racist or anything, but a person that's my skin complexion, we would never think that because all we know is football or basketball. But I guess I'm saying that I separate myself from the West because soccer is my passion it's my, and it's, it's my dream. Last but not least, money. Money, 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 money. <laughs> uh, mm. It is mandatory for a person to go to high school because obviously you have to get your high school diploma. In college, you have the option to not continue your education, but if you do, it's money because college is more advanced and college offers you more opportunities to get into the dream job you want to be in. Uh, college increases the chances of you making more money versus a person graduated from high school and he, he or she is in that same career, the, the college student will be able to make more money because of the degrees that's being offered in colleges. You don't have to pay money for high school and yeah, but in, in college, you do have to pay money. So, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. This was my presentation of the difference between high school and college and my experiences. I hope you learned a thing or two about this presentation that I offer. <laughs> I'm Zion Smith. Always and forever. <laughs>